see. I bought the first Astra I saw. I bought the first Lamborghini I saw. Bought the first AMG GTS I saw. Bought the first A1 that I saw. And the first M3 that I saw. Why don't you call your mum? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to a lay-by next to a very, very busy road and I'm in the Jaguar F-Type. I'm still yet to film my video on what it is like to live with this car having put around 2,000 miles on this car, which I hope Jaguar are alright with. Please don't be mad at me. But anyway, following on from yesterday's video where I announced that my BMW M3 is going up for sale at Tony at Gravelwood's car. No, Tony at Gravelwood Cars. I have decided that it is never too early to discuss the potential of a BMW M3 replacement. And for once, in the last nine to 12 months, I feel like I have a direction. I feel like I know what my plans are. Everything is starting to fall into place. For the first 30 seconds of this video, I'm gonna quickly run through a garage update before we head right there into Romans International to check out some potential M3 direct replacements. So garage update number one is BMW M3 out. I'm gonna have a direct replacement come in to replace the BMW M3, something that is fun, but something that I could drive every single day. Something slightly faster, potentially something newer than the BMW M3. A lot of you guys might be questioning now, where does the Mercy Largo fit into this? I said in the video, I'm not sure if it even made the final cut with Dan from VVS, that a Mercy Largo is going to happen in 2018. My girlfriend said I can get a Mercy Largo, but I just have to get the flat first. Yeah, exactly. So, which is looking like it is going to complete and we're gonna officially move in at the end of January, beginning of February. We're gonna have a look around and by we, I'm talking about Nez, who you might know that works at Romans International, manages their social media. I went to university with him and I think really annoyingly Archie's invited himself. Do you like them? I actually do. Yeah they're more your style that's why I wore them. Just yeah the Yeezys are a little bit out there. Too much. Wait, why are we making our way to the front where they've got all of the supercars? <laughs> <laughs> they've got an R8. I need a direct replacement something that costs very similar to the M3 not these cars. However let's have a look at them because they look so good. We've got two Hurricanes Three hurricanes. Three hurricanes. Three hurricanes. You should never have sold it. What? <laughs> the hurricane. No. No, no. Mercy, I mean... Mercy Largo is inbound. Very nice. Yeah. So, Verde Mantis. A45? Oh, yeah. This, those wheels aren't stock. Are they? No, they're the, the smaller wheels. So they've been painted. But they've been painted black. Right. Okay. That's quite nice in yellow. Did you see the news article about that yellow? R8 V10 that that was bad. Big crash. Definitely. Whoa, windy. P1. We'll go inside in a minute, but let's let's go to the other end of cars okay. that are a little bit more affordable. Because whilst these cars are beautiful, it was a Ford GT. We'll go inside in a minute and we'll escape the wind. But uh, they probably can't hear you at this point. Hopefully they can. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, oh, <laughs> careful! Don't get. Coat zips. Here we go. This is what I like to call the daily section. We've got all of the dailies. One of the greatest dailies of all time there. The Nada Grey RS6. BMW M2. Proper car. Proper car. You like this? I like it. Do you know, <laughs> the BMW M2 was our first video together. It was. How romantic is that? Oh, the C63 coupe. This is nice. Too expensive though. Oh, that's 54. I thought they were like 70. This must be a non S. That's nice. That, that is, is nice. That is cool. It's got the proper wheels. Yeah. Same wheels as my GTS. That is really nice. Yeah, no, it's not an S. Is that a bit of you? This is a bit of me. Same engine as the GTS. So you'd shove the exhaust system you get this exhaust system out bring a new one in <laughs> already on the exhaust <laughs> you know, <laughs> even though it's got sports exhaust that is like that's cool so is this i mean 
This is a little bit out of my price range, but a Nardo Grey Bentley Super Sports. Yeah, nearly 200 grand. That is mental. Yeah. That is ridiculous. And, and, and you know what? I'd rather have that. W you would rather have that than that? But like, yeah. I'm a, I'm, people might not think I'm normal, but that's, that is, that's a bit of me. Yeah. Oh man, like I genuinely that's, that's you. thought that was way, way, way out. That is a lot of car for the money. 50 grand. 50 grand. And considering they are 50 grand, they should hold their money. Not too bad. Mm. I'm actually going to look at how much they are list so that I can work out the depreciation between now and then so that I can then look at what it's going to be in a year's time. When you would, so would that how long you would keep something like that be a year? Well, look, look, look. picture this. Finishing 2018 with one of them modded, customized, tuned how I wanted, with a Mercedes Lago LP640 outside the apartment. Like that, to me, I like. I've completed it. You have completed. I don't it. need another car. <laughs> I don't need. An, I don't need anything else, and I'll keep those cars for life. And I'll be carless. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's exactly. I mean, that is because. Let's be honest, Mercedes Lago, you can't. You're not going to be driving that. No, but I'm keeping it. I'll keep it a long time. That's my dream car and I'll never sell it. Really? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. I'd never sell that car and that's got offered millions of pounds. It's unlikely. Thanks to the lovely Nez. He's that's giving us the key. Whoa, hey. the key. <gasps> Let's check this out. It's handy coming to Romans when I know the guy like, I went to uni with him. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, take a seat and they take a seat is there a space for me to pop the camera up oh, that's a bit bit wonky it is very similar to the AMG GTS obviously this section is slightly different but everything is going to be so intuitive because I've obviously um, had one let's, yeah. let's show these guys let's show these guys AMG GTS steering wheel this is the dash that I'm talking center console that I'm talking about sorry you got all of the mouse little things there. Alcantara. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds. I'm just thinking of the exhaust system already. How'd you turn this down again? Uh, all the exhausts already on. It's like they knew I was coming. <laughs> stand behind, stand behind. And I'll do it, give it some reps. I can't be AMG. I literally. That is the thing. Oh. So I've driven an A45 for so long, so they do make a nice line. Yeah. Not as nice as that. No, you that can't be V8. <laughs> A45 sounds cool, but. This is another level up, isn't it? This is definitely another level up. This is an upgrade, right? From the, the M3. Big time. I need to. I don't know much about C63s and the market. I kind of feel like I want to talk to the guys in here and then maybe talk to Tony. You just look at that. But like, you know what? My mum gave me advice when I went and bought my first car, which is the Vauxhall Astra, is don't buy the first car you see. I bought the first Astra I saw. I bought the first Lamborghini I saw. Bought the first AMG GTS I saw. Bought the first A1 that I saw. And the first M3 that I saw. Why don't you call your mum? I'm not sure whether you can see, I'm going to zoom in, a policeman has pulled over BMW M3. Oh, naughty naughty! We arrive. Gravelwood cars. Now, you've asked a question. A question. To Tony. To Tony. About driving a particular car for a video. Yeah. Show, it, show, us, where you, show us where the car is. I'll show you. It's right, right at the back. 
Next to just, the yellow. Just down uh, there. Next to the yellow car. Yeah, I thought I'd get the one. <laughs> How do you feel about it? <laughs> 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 this is the car that Archie's asked to drive. <laughs> that. The BMW M2. Why don't we just go for lunch and then you drive it another day? <laughs> you really don't want really to drive this car, do you? No, I want you to drive it. I want you to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the car, salesman. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to... <laughs> Is he always going to come out? We're in, uh, we're in Tony's temporary, temporary office because next door there's a hell of a lot of building work going on. And I was sat down, we're talking about C63s. The Romans printed out the uh, wonderful car that we saw today for me just to have a look at the spec. Was it nice? It was nice. It was a good car, yeah. The one thing that obviously I wanted to do was understand the market. So you've built that car pretty much, yeah. as new so that we get to see what specs it's got. And look, check the price out, 67,236. So that car was 67 grand from new. So this is a 2016, it's done, how many miles has it done? 9,000 miles. So it's done 9,000 miles in just over a year. a year. Yeah, it's about 15, 16 months old that car. And you reckon it, well, it's lost 15 grand on that retail price? On, on the retail price, yeah, you've got the dealer margin as well, so mm. whatever profit margin they have across that car as Yeah. Well. So that's lost a fair bit. Yeah. But they do. But, but they all do. Yeah. M cars do it. Yeah. RS cars do it, Audi RS cars, they all do it. First okay. year, the, that's the big bit. But we went through the configurator and saw all of the specs that you can get, so now it's me going back onto Auto Trader, you going into the trade, behind the scenes, working your magic to try and find the right car. So I think it's the, but, it's the but M3 replacement, like, right? Yeah, for sure. Something like that, that sort of price. Yeah. Yeah. So is that, that's a good car, isn't it's it? A it's a wicked it's car. Nice wheels, it's got a good spec. It's a small spec, it's not mega spec. My M3 was big spec. This is a, a slightly smaller spec, but obviously that's... So as long as you've price. got the premium pack and the 1920 wheels, which is what that's got, Yeah. Unless you start going silly, head up display and yeah, surround yeah, and then cameras you get to and stuff. Yeah, 60 grand, and that's not really you what want I'm trying to do. You want sports exhaust yeah. as well. Well, I'm going to change the exhaust anyway. But you're going to change the exhaust, that's fine. Right. Hmm. Fairly good buyers with got like buyers advice though, like going onto the website, building the car, seeing what the depreciation, seeing what the depreciation yeah, yeah. is. Because with a car like this, with the BMW, I was able to see like a 2015 version, so I could see what it's going to be in a year's time. But obviously, this car is it's too new. It's too new it's to not do that. Out. They're not that old. Okay, well, uh, let's get on the hunt because I kind of want to swap soon. Now? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> you had a black car in, didn't you? Two like, weeks literally ago. Two weeks ago. Come on, come back. Let's have joy. Các bạn hãy bấm like, comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha.